Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna take some of this mink oil and apply it to my 10 year old boots. These are boots that I use out in the field that I recently retired here this weekend. I uh, upgraded to these Ariats. These are carbon tall toe waterproof boots that I just got. When I bought these boots, the uh, guy at the boot store recommended that I use mink oil on them. So I got this mink oil. I've never used this stuff before. Uh, waterproofs, softens, conditions, boots. It was like five bucks or something for this stuff. Um, I don't have any experience using this. I've always used um, regular black shoe polish on my boots uh, when I was in the military. But uh, this stuff is like kind of like a waxy material. It's thick, but I've already applied a coat to these boots and brushed them and let it soak. And it darkened the, the leather pretty nicely. And it, it actually feels more protected. I can feel kind of feels pretty nice. Um, but I decided since uh, I'm already done doing these new boots that I'm going to I'm going to see uh I've really beat the piss out of these boots. They're already broken in. Um, I've never really taken care of them at all because I've used these on construction sites and um, working on the field, so they're beat up pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna retire these to like, I don't know, maybe lawn, lawn work use. So I wanted to just put a coat of this on here and see what it does. Who knows? Is it gonna make them look brand new? I don't know, probably not but this leather is pretty worn, pretty bad. It's cracking and stuff, so let's see what it does. Um, safety first, put these gloves on. Let's see. So immediately notice that it gets pretty dark. I guess this is how you're supposed to apply it with your hand. I've never applied shoe polish with my hand. I've always used the little brushes. Wow, damn, look at that. These boots actually saved my feet, my toes from getting crushed uh, on one occasion. The uh, steel toe portion here. Um, I still broke my foot, but I think my toes would have gotten crushed pretty bad if I didn't have the steel toe. Let's see. Got this part here. You can see how light the leather is. So the way that this uh, this mink oil works is you apply it, you let it sit for five minutes, and you brush it, and you're done. Pretty simple. These boots did pretty good in water, actually, too. And they say they're waterproof. They they're pretty damn spot on with that claim. 
I was on a job site, construction site that was flooded real bad, multiple occasions. Um, had to just uh, walk straight on through some deep puddles and uh, did pretty damn good. This toe is really dried up. And it's still a really good boot. That's why I'm applying this stuff on here. I'm not making this just for the video. I'm, I want to actually keep these because they're pretty good boots. I just uh, hate to throw away something that could be useful in another situation. too crazy there with this side. <clears throat> I don't want to spend a lot of time with this bullshit. That's good enough. <clears throat> There's a before and after, yeah. It's old and new. All right, so this has been soaking for about five minutes. I think that's about good enough. You can either use a microfiber or a brush. I'm using this brush because, uh, you know, it'll just help kind of disperse whatever's excess may be on here. That's about all it takes. I guess you would call this a leather conditioner. So. It seems like it's conditioning the leather to me. I've uh, never used this stuff, like I said, but it seems like it's doing something. I don't know. Maybe you guys can make judgment. Does it look better? It looks pretty good. It's still, still beat up, but maybe uh, the leather is a little happier. This is a, uh, a Red Wing Irish Setter, made in China. The um, Ariats that I got here are made in Vietnam. I was looking for something specifically not made in China. This is the closest I could find. Pretty much all these boots are made in China these days and it's pretty depressing. I think this is good. That's it. This one's soaking. I'll brush this little guy and done deal. There you go. Mink oil. <laughs>